Chair Yoga Floor Poses Okay, from here we go into seated positions in front of the chair and what we can explore here. We can go into a Baddha Konasana which is a very important pose because you get the ben benefit of a hip opening and a forward bend that is very good for your spine and for prana circulation and kundalini and so you press it you grow and you can put your elbows on the chair in a way that you feel this rotation of the hip and the space underneath the navel and you open wide and wide and wide pressing the feet you can even go a little bit more here stay there for three to five or even ten if it just feels good because you can also press the heads and you have a support here so it's a very cooling posture then from here we go to all the konasanas which is opening here same thing of combining the opening of the hip with the forward bending which is very pleasant From here you can leave first one arm here just to align you and pick up the big toe, find some space, grow through here, pull yourself forward and if you find space you can go to your final pose. If this is too hard you can grab a, a rope. Why is this the rope important? Because sometimes our ego tells us to reach that reaching the toe is the most important and it's not. What's important is that you align yourself, not in this way, pulling and, and forcing the elbow, but this way and just stay here or here. Then go to the other side. place or pick up the big toe on the left and just enjoy it. Okay. From here you can bring the knees and just let yourself go down. Rock yourself from one side to the other feeling that massage on your lower back and as you get closer to the chair you place the feet here and you're just going to lift yourself a little bit you can use the hands to have more stability and just swing yourself from one side to the other relaxing the hip, relaxing the lower back this feels really good from here you can go and placing the left while you put the hands on the back you bring your weight to the shoulders it's a shoulder stand instead of angasana and go here Go here. If you're more comfortable with this, you walk the hands a little bit up the spine and you go into a shoulder stand with the legs really active. You shouldn't compress the, the neck or the throat, otherwise I wouldn't be able to speak to you. You can come back here if you're comfortable, otherwise just stay here and keep it on the shoulders. Come back here.
and slowly open the legs and come forward and just rest feel good okay so from here you just can go into shavasana which is our resting pose and just relax enjoy and feel the floor feel the rooting and i hope that with this we i i was able to show you just how easy or how uh, uh, tangible our our postures can be as long as we adapt them to our needs to our possibilities and we should know ourselves like our limits but also all our possibilities and everything that we can do with with our body and sometimes you're in the office and all you need is just this chair and have fun and enjoy and take the pressure off namaste my friends see you next time bye bye